The jury, seated for the first trial in the Pike County massacre, finally takes a break. They spent hours looking at important places pertaining to the case. Our Evan Millward has covered the murders from day one, and he continues our coverage from Waverly tonight. The nine women, three men, and six jury alternates have a four-day weekend now to be back here Tuesday for opening statements. They have spent more than a dozen hours on a school bus this week looking at locations important to this case. Late Thursday, it was the trailers where investigators say George Wagner IV helped kill eight members of the Roden and Gilly families in 2016. They also saw the house where his mom Angela was arrested and where the family lived most recently. They got a tour of his grandma's sprawling Flying W Ranch, which investigators searched a couple years ago. On Wednesday, they saw the home where investigators found evidence they say links the Wagners to the murders, and they saw three locations on Union Hill Road where the Rodens and Gilly trailers once stood and where their family members found them shot execution style that April. Wagner's attorneys maintain he didn't kill anyone and they can prove it. His brother Jake, whose custody battle is believed to have been the flashpoint for all of this, and his mom will have to testify against him as part of their plea deal. Plenty to watch here over the next six to eight weeks. In Waverly, I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News. Stay with WZPO 9 News on air, online, and on your favorite streaming device for continued coverage of this trial. Well, a woman stands at